Howdy. I have two business gripes today and they're going to lead to my trying to make a point at the end of my two gripes. And I'm going to talk about two companies. The first company I'm going to talk about is ADT. ADT is one of the biggest security systems in the nation. And they've had a pretty good reputation as far as the work they do. However, they have a lousy reputation when you're trying to cancel the service. I know that because I researched it after I had some difficulties with these people. Now, my parents have had this security system since 1987, I believe. So 30 years worth is pretty cool. And I don't know if the rules were the same back then, but now it seems that in order to cancel, not only do you have to send them a letter, but it has to be a certified letter. Otherwise, they can say, well, we didn't get it, or they can say, well, no one signed for it, or some garbage like that. And I thought, are you kidding? I have the, I have the account number. I had to pay you for this, and <laughs> you're going to make me send you a letter? And, you know, if I hadn't researched it online, because I wondered about that certified letter thing, but there are horror stories from people saying that they had tried to cancel, 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 and nothing. And so when I was talking to this guy on the phone, I said, well, that's, you know, that's a lousy way to do it. How come you can't do it a different way? He says, well, this is the policy. And I said, well, let me just ask you a question. What if I stop paying the bill? He says, well, if you stop paying the bill, then you'll go to credit and it'll hit your credit report. And I said, well, okay, the bill's in my mother's name. She's 80 years old. She's got dementia. <laughs> I mean, what could you do to hurt her? Absolutely nothing. Still, I got the address and I had to leave the house and go pay for a certified letter. I think that's a lousy way to do business, but that's, you know, that's here nor there, at least at this point. The second had to do with Frontier Communications. We don't have that in the Syracuse area, but they have it in the Rochester area. They're the main phone company. And back in July, I tried to change the service because my mother was getting, trust me, look at this, landline, she's getting $80 a month. That was her bill. So I tried to call them to change it up. They wouldn't do it, saying even if I had power of attorney, they don't have a record on their file saying anything. Once again, my mother's had this account for 30 years. So I sent them a letter back in July. I sent it, you know, they gave me an address. I wrote up this letter. I sent it. They said, we don't have any letter on file. I had a feeling I was going to hear that. So I'm irked about that. So, we go through this process where it takes an hour and two minutes, and me being on hold for probably <laughs> 49, 50 minutes of that period of time to try to get something done. And so this lady comes on line eventually, and she says to me, well, unfortunately, they're saying you have to send us a fax. You know, we need a fax copy of the letter, otherwise you're going to have to mail it again. And I said, wait a minute, you're supposed to be Frontier Communications. You're a communications organization. You actually offer internet to people and you have email. I can't believe you don't have an email that I can send this to. That makes absolutely no sense. This is 2017. I gave up my fax machine five years ago. So <laughs> that got me another 10 minutes on hold. And then she finally comes back and says, well, we do have an email address. And that irked me because if they had told me that back in July, I would have emailed this letter then and had no problems. Still, at least this time, I got an email address. I was able to send it in. And about four minutes later, I had been able to cancel my mother's service because we're selling the house. There's no one living in that house. Hasn't been anyone living in that house for a long time. So I can cancel the alarm system, cancel the phone. Actually, canceling the phone should pretty much end the alarm service because those folks told me months ago that you needed a landline for the system to work. So <laughs> maybe I didn't need to do any of this. Anyway, my real point here is that there are so many businesses, there's so many business people, small and large businesses, who make working with them hard and difficult. It sometimes is up front. I talked years ago about a local company here that fixes lawnmowers and does all these other kind of things that doesn't have an answering machine. So you can't you can if you call them, if you get them fine, but if you're trying to follow up on something, you just can't reach them. I mean, they're hard to get on the phone. I guess they get enough business of people dropping in that they must not think that they need a phone. I'm sorry, it's 2017 get an answering machine. But they've been there since I moved here back in 1975. 
I, I don't know if they have the same owners, but you know, come on, let's keep up here. <laughs> so you need to have your business to be accommodating to the your customers. Now, if you are an exclusive in your area, then that's one thing. But if you're not, you know what? You can be replaced by almost anyone. One of the things I make sure I do or have done on my website, for instance, is my contact information is on every single page. So I don't have a contact page because it's on every page. As a matter of fact, on every page, you can just click a link and you can actually send me an email. I have that on all my business sites. Actually, I'm down to two sites now, but still, I make it easy for people to reach me. My phone number is on there. I'm not using, I don't think I'm using the P.O. Box, but even if I am, I have a phone number on there. I have an email. You can contact me. When I have clients and I have contracts, if I have to write up the contract, I spell out everything. The deliverables, I spell out how they can cancel the contract. I spell out how I can cancel the contract. It's pretty easy. I am trying to deliver to the customer. That's what you're supposed to do if you're in business. I think sometimes some companies get so big that they don't really have good customer service. They like to say that they do, but you know what? The power is right online. And think about it. Maybe a company like ADT can suffer from having bad publicity when it comes to trying to cancel their contracts. But how many of the rest of us, how many of our businesses could really survive well with that type of thing? Just something to think about. At least I got through it. So <laughs> there you go. Anyway, my name is Mitch Mitchell. Let me know your thoughts on this type of thing, whether you are a business or whether you're a consumer. I will talk to you all later.